Welcome to the Account Solutions. Happy New Year to everyone. Um, to all those who have subscribed to this channel and to those who are yet to subscribe, thank you so much for staying with me on this channel and for all the support you've been giving me on this channel. Um, so many of you have reached out to me uh, through email and through the contact form on our blog. Thank you so much for your support, for your advice and for your suggestions as well. And for those who have requested for our demos and are yet to get some of them, we apologize for the delay in sending them across to you. I believe you would have seen some of our emails responding to your um, questions on our template. So, um, to start 2020, I'll be sharing with you a part two video of our Excel template for church finance management. Um, the part one video was made specifically for um, a client who asked us to customize an Excel template for them. But um, because of the demand for that Excel template by other users, we have added some general features that could work for any church. So I'll be sharing with you briefly on the new um, user interface for our Excel solution for um, church finance, simple solution for church finance. Hopefully I will share in another video um, how to post transactions on all the user interface available on this particular application. So this is the Excel Church template with VBA part 2. Okay, I'll just go ahead and open the file. Um, the file is the account solutions full church accounting demo. So if you need a copy of this demo is available, just send an email to the email address um, posted below this video and then we'll email the demo file to you. The demo file is not available on our online site for downloading. Because people have been asking me where can they download this file, it is not available on our free template site for downloading. You can only get this um, Excel file through email sent from us to you. So, when you get this file, you open it. Okay, it will give you a security warning macros have been disabled, enable content. Just click on enable content, then it brings you to the display panel you can either log in or exit so just click on login and when you get this demo will give you um, a username and a passcode to enable you access the um, okay so if you are logged in as of course when we give you this um, template as a demo who assign you as an admin so you have access to the entire sheet you have access to the entire sheet in this template but if you are using this template as a user you only have access to the sheet that the admin has assigned to you so as an admin just click on activate what it simply does is to open up all the sheets that are available on this workbook. Remember, this is an Excel workbook that we have customized to run some basic application for you. So, wherever the um, activation takes you to, your best friend is this navigate button. So, you click on the navigate button, it brings you to this um, platform where you can set up post transactions and also view um, some simple reports that we've done with the help of um, pivot tables so i'll just run you through the functions of these templates and how you can use them first of all 
um, I'll, this is set up. You can add a new member, type the member's name, select the ministry, children ministry, church, uh, men's ministry, teens. Okay, then if it's in any department, select the department, select the department the member belongs to, or leave this place blank. Then if you have cell fellowships, select the cell fellowship that the member belongs to, then male or female, type the phone number, WhatsApp number, if any, the contact email and the contact house address, and you click on add, it goes straight to the members database. That's it about adding a new member. Then for new zone, if your church is uh, grouped into various zones, you can just type in a new zone here and add. Okay. Then you have new department, ushering, music, prayer, just add a new department, click on add. Okay. Then for um, new account code, just type in the code, the account name, select the type. Select the account class, the account group, and if you don't know what um, these groups are all about, you can seek the advice of an accountant, a consultant to guide you through. We are also available to put it through the chat of account. Then you can add a new group into your into your chat. Okay, so that's basically what happens on this setup. Then you can also go to admin panel and add a new admin admin select from the list of the church members and add a new admin you can add um, a new user and assign the sheet the user is supposed to have access to if you don't want all the users to have access to the same sheets so you can just assign sheets to them and when they log in with their username and passcode code they will have access to just those three sheets given to them but the admin will have access to all the sheets Okay, so that's what happens uh, here. Now for posting transactions, we have record offerings, record expenses, record tithes. When there are remittances from the self fellowships, you can just record the self fellowship. You know, when there is um, deposit from departments, record it here. Then if there are any adjustment to be made in the account, it's by way of journals. Then you can book pledge. Pledges are different because unlike other offerings where they come in cash, pledges are being made. You don't see the cash yet until they redeem their pledges. So it's a bit different from when you are recording offerings, tight sell offerings and departmental deposits. Now mind you, the sell offerings are made at various sell fellowships. Then the sell leaders, depending on the structure of the church, sell leaders bring back um, the portion that belongs to the church, the church accountant who will now post this. So it is not for sell fellowships to um, use and post. It is when or if they bring remittances back to the church, then the church accountant can now post uh, with this sell offering. The same thing applies to the parental deposit. But for pledges, you can book a pledge and when the member redeems that pledge, you now redeem the pledge. Okay, so um, that's what happens on these post transactions. For reports, we have the cash reports, income reports, tight reports, pledge reports, deposit from department reports, the sale reports, and your trial balance. Now, um, if you want to import your opening balances, we can also guide you on how to do that. We'll show you how it works here. You have your income statement and your balance sheet. Now the dashboard just enables you to view some basic um, reports to a glance. Okay, so Thank you for seeing this video. If you like what you've seen and you like to know more about this um, church template, uh, watch out for the next video where we'll go deep um, into the software on how to record transactions and generate reports. If you've not subscribed to our channel, kindly subscribe and press the bell for notifications so that you'll be the first to get 
notified when our new videos are released. Thank you so much. See you soon in the next video. Cheers.